Hello. Say hi to vlog. Hello. Aww. Do what? Did you see those flowers? That's the two new bushes we put in. They're nice, huh? Is this your new pet right here? You got a nice dead uh, no, cicada it's for a us. cicada. <laughs> he's seen better days though. He has seen better days. Good Look at you. the poor bastard. Looks like him. He's hardened. <laughs> Cart wait, hold on. Henry. Hey. Henry. Come hey, in. buddy. Henry, come. What's he doing? He wants to go in the oh. I wanted to bring Gianna here, buy a hamburger before this place goes out of business. But that's a two hour wait. So, no skips. Fucking sucks, bro. Feels like a little piece of my hometown just died. They're selling it for condos. I found him. Hey, pal. Hey, dude. Hey, Henry, how are you? Hi. Hey, man, how are you? Hi. Henry, out of it. Henry's scared of big Henry. Italian man. Yeah, this this guy's a dickhead right here. Nah, what? Right. Nah, Cody. He, he'll go on your shoulder. So this guy, he's a little standoffish. No, but he's then, good, he's good. but once once he gets used to it, he'll like you go know, on your finger. If you ever have kids, and they want a pet. Don't get them one of these. <laughs> See these friggin' birds here? They live 35 yeah, Dude, years. I got this guy when so I was when like four. 35 years? 35 <laughs> like 30. years. And then when this sucker moves, when this sucker moves out, you want to take the birds and go like, <laughs> out in the snow. But he's gone, and he doesn't want them anymore. Yeah. So guess who raises them? You this know, fool yeah. here. <laughs> Wait, they're originally yours? Yeah, yeah, dude, I got I got this guy when I was like four. Yeah, like, oh, dad, dad, can, can I get a pet? Can I get a bird? No, can no, I said, Dad, can I get a dog? And mom was like, <laughs> mom, No, not mom yet. <laughs> you can have a dog. bird. Do you know that they live like 35 years? <laughs> we didn't know at the time. We. This guy's this guy's still kicking, bro. He's like middle aged. <laughs> yeah, bros just like bros, bros just got to like half his life. <laughs> All right, new sponsor for the channel is Keeps. So Keeps is basically a company that helps you keep your hair because I think it's two thirds of men before the age of thirty five experience some kind of balding. So you know, girls like a strong strong hairline. It's my birthday. It just birthday. it just turned my birthday, and the reason. I have this loving girlfriend right here is because I got a relatively thick head of hair, but it could get thicker with Keeps. So the sponsor of today's video, new sponsor for the channel is Keeps. So it's a subscription service. So it's all from the comfort of your own home. You don't have to go and see a doctor, set up an appointment, and they have 24 hour unlimited messaging. So if you ever have a problem or you just have a question, you can always message someone. You don't have a certain amount of texts you can send or questions you can ask and it's 24 seven. You don't even have to go to a pharmacy to pick up your meds. They're just shipped right to your doorstep. Obviously it's all pharmaceutical grade, but it's about half the cost of a traditional pharmacy. So you can subscribe to Keeps and then turn on refill reminders so that you automatically just request a refill and then it appears at your doorstep. As you guys know, I do a number of things to try to keep my hair as full as it is. And a lot of people ask me, see, I think that sometimes my hair is thinning, but I've seen a lot of comments of people asking me, what I do for my hair. So, so as you probably heard, what is it? An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure when it comes to hair loss. So you wanna get ahead of this thing before it catches up to you, cause it will, whether you're natural or not, it just catches up to everyone. Like people are natural their whole lives and they still end up balding sometimes even before 35. So hair loss stops with Keeps. So to get 50% off your first order, you can go to keeps.com slash jam. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash jam. And you'll get 50% off your first order. Or you can click the link in my description. Thank you, Keeps. Oh, I, I got it. Oh, Sorry, man, oh, new to this car. Yeah, Steph, first time the hard knocks. All right. He ain't know about all that. Let's go to it. Let's see, let's, let's see what this, how hard these knocks are. I'm here with the one who knocks. Yeah. We're the ones who knock. Uh, I'm finally at that that hard knocks. We knocking hard at the hard knocks. You better knock. Ah, the one who knocks. I'm knocking on hard knocks. There he is. What you think? Huh? I like it. Yeah. It's got man. It's it's like the definition of having fucking having culture. This, this is like weathered in. I had to come here for years before I earned my spot on the wall right over here. I earned my spot right there. Uh. Bro. Bro, on the wall. It's, it's the guy. I signed it too. I'm a big shot. It's the guy, right next to Jay Culler <laughs> and Ronnie. Ronnie Coleman signed that shit. Oh my god. We got Boston Mass out there. He signed that shit. Jose Raymond. Everyone's been in here, bro. They got. They got I'm a Gunther fan. Who? Gunther. 
Good Gunther? Gunther. I don't know. Gunther? Gunther? Gunther Schlieping sh Clap. I don't know his last. He's like super German guy, but he uh. like low-key beat Ronnie Coleman one year. Look it up. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah. But they like, but like, like politics were like, no, 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 no. Uh, we can't like get in the way of Ronnie. Uh, yeah. yeah, bro does have some muscle mass on. He got that. He got the best bodybuilding smile. <laughs> bro said, uh, uh, uh. All right, we start with some dumbbell rows. Yo, low key. Some of these over here, I picked up the the one twenties yesterday. They had, they had dust on them, bro. God damn, you had to dust them shits off. Yeah. He had to show him. Who, he had to. He had to show him who's the one that knocked. <laughs> yeah, it goes up to one fifty. I was <laughs> low key. Some of these are a little shaky, bro. Some yeah, of these, that's like, how they are in my gym. Yeah. Well, just throw them. And I've, I'll, see, I'll I've seen these them. break. I've seen them break, and I'm just imagining me with like, if I'm like dumbbell pressing and it's just above my head and then it breaks. <laughs> you know, bro, if a phone weighs like, a phone weighs like one ounce and that shit hurts and it falls on you. Imagine one of those from that before. Like my phone, phone? From my phone falling in my face, I'm like, and I never get bloody noses. And it's like, I know it's actually a little bit crooked. I don't know if you guys can tell. Back in eighth grade, twice in one week, I got I got accidentally punched in the face. First time, this guy he had a football in his hand, and for no reason at all, he did a spinning back fist to throw the football like that. And I was right behind him, and I just got spinning back fist in the face. And then, just as soon as it had like healed enough to where it wasn't that painful, a couple days later, this he was like six foot five in fucking eighth grade, and he was running for the football, and I was like chasing him. And as he swung his fucking long ass arm back and hit me right in the nose, just started like gushing blood, and now it's just permanently bent. I, mine's like a little crooked from like hockey. I don't know. I'm just like hitting motherfuckers. And nah, that shit looks pretty straight. It's straight. Yeah. I used to just like pull on it. I used. I think it's. I think it's this way, like a little bit. I used to just pull on it for like a little bit. Just <laughs> you thought like, that would like fix it? Yeah, just like over time, like just slowly, <laughs> like, like braces, bro. Just slowly itch away at it. Just like. Uh, Damn, bro, kind of big with it. I, th I think, I think it's, it's that tea, man. It's that tea. Should I be the first Bacal athlete? Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, you Michael just grab. You grab the same dumbbell that I was using. Oh, you no, can I just really? use the one that's already on the ground. Oh, you got. Oh, you have a fifty? Yeah. Do you need me to come for you? I don't. I mean, like when you get a chance, but I'm I'm cooling for now. Thank you, Gianna, in the comments. Good GF. Damn, he's got some brachialis definition right there. I do got the forearms though. That's my genetic gift. Man's got them brachioradialis gains. Uh. Thick grip. It's like smooth though. I've yeah, never, yeah I've never no, like I know. But some of them, like, there's such a big difference between the thickness of handles here. Some of them are smooth, like this, and then you got others that are like. <laughs> I know y'all just want to grab it, so I'm gonna do it for you. <laughs> Jay signed that? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Everyone's been in here. People don't realize that. This gym's OG. That's crazy. Yeah. Wait, I didn't know that. What the? F yeah, no. A lot, like Ronnie Coleman signed it. He's got a poster up there. I wish, bro. I would kill for a video of like Ronnie lifting at Hard Knocks. I doubt that shit even exists because that was back before like the YouTube days. But that would be crazy to see like Ronnie Coleman training in this gym that I've like grown up in. Okay, and, like all the other pictures are like so like like old. faded and like old, and then bro's got like that super uber fucking HD like crazy it's been like edited by LT. Yeah, the so contrast it's like, is like <laughs> bro's just it's still got out. look at this because my mom did this because she was like so proud that she's like I gotta print this out, but she left she left the auto <laughs> no the and the, the tag and the tag from Instagram. <laughs> she screenshotted it. I love you, mom. It actually feels fantastic. We're pretty limited on like what we can do here because there's not like bodybuilding machines, but that's the hard knock way, man. Is this a powerlifting gym, technically? I, it, like it's like a hardcore gym, so powerlifting and bodybuilding. But all the bodybuilders that come in here are like they're, like rough. They're like fucking sailors. They got like anchor tattoos on their arms. <laughs> all the fucking sailors come in here. They're like, oh, hi. <laughs> they're like, oh. They do like the fucking like that's Santa. Oh, bro. Oh. Hi! A whole is Santa. Bro, Santa's coming in here. <laughs> bro, Santa probably do come in here, bro. This place is like magical location. This place got mystical powers. Is this a no, 110? No, you got it. You, you got it, bro. Come on. Come on. You're in hard knocks. You have to knock. Ah. <laughs> I'm the one who knocks. Never oh, do this. The 110? 
I can't do this shit. Let me just do it real quick. It just feels like I'm using all momentum. Do that proper lat movement, keeping the forearm perpendicular to the floor at all times. My abs are gonna rip open. Yeah, this is a, this oblique workout for real. <laughs> for real. I met him on like three times this fit already, but he said one good set is worth like four shitty sets. I'd say it's worth even more than that because I did. I posted a reel, I did the 150 for six incline press, and that was like an actual, like, basically to complete failure. And after that, I probably only did like eight more, seven more working sets of the whole workout. But my chest is fucking fried today. So, it's not about the amount of volume, man. Kind of is, though. Steph, do you have any wisdom to add? Seabum, where to collab at, bro? <laughs> just give it to my boy James. That's all he's asking for, bro. Shh, shh, shh. We, he, he don't want to say because he's too genuine, but like he just wants to collab, bro. I want to see that. Who I don't want to see that? I do want to visit Revive Gym. That gym looks dope. Mention it. Right. Oh, At Seabum in the fucking. I don't even think you could do that on YouTube, but comment Seabum <laughs> fucking collab with James or DM Seabum to fucking collab with James because like we all want to see that. Now he's I have a pro. Seabum will be like, all right, all right. Get me. How much do you like your Tesla? And I said, I fucking love it. It's like everything I dreamed of and more. And he's like, all right, sold. I'm gonna get one. Oh. Oh. Woo. We're just gonna get in a pump workout today because we got deads tomorrow. You're deadlifting tomorrow? Yeah. I haven't hit legs in a while. I was gonna hit legs today, but he was gonna hit chest. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be like, nah, man, let's skip chest and do fucking legs. So we compromised and did back pump, and then tomorrow, he might hit a little deadlift PR. We'll see. Maybe. What's your deadlift PR? 675. He pulled 700 tomorrow. I don't know about that. I hit legs yesterday. Oh, uh, wait, what? Good. What's your PR? 705. Oh, Damn. I still got you by five pounds even if you hit that shit. Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna he put did. on the micro plates, get it up to 706. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking rest your, rest your wing on it. <laughs> that one pound. Not like that kid did at World. What was it, two and a half People pounds? People still give me shit for that till this day. I'm giving you shit for it. They're uh -huh. like, they, they, someone commented, they're like, you got second place at your show, just like I'd be, just like, just like I'd be at Worlds. There, there was literally a comment like that. I don't know, I still just get shit about it. Like, oh, you got beat by a Canadian. What the fuck does that even mean? How's that like a diss? You got beat by a Canadian, bro. Like, like, bro, that guy's nice and he beat you, like, fuck you. <laughs> You gotta do a little dancey dance to get back up. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like. <laughs> Literally like. Men's physique. <laughs> Bros are static. <laughs> They're like, let me just flare my lats this fucking much. There ain't no reason for you. You can, you can go like this, sure. But guys are like. <laughs> <laughs> Bros got the eye of the tiger. Every men's physique competitor does be doing this though. It's all about the bounce. They be they be scaling that fucking Dude, I, on oh. bounce scale. They be like, <laughs> <laughs> they be hitting like a, it's even men's physique, but they hit a trap up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> if you ain't no. bouncing, you ain't doing it right. But <laughs> bro, stir in the pie. <laughs> so it's like stirring a pot of fucking soup. <laughs> Bro's bacon. What's bro making? Bro, you just get out there, you start whipping up. <laughs> They're like, holy god of hell. I've never seen something so fantastic. This routine walks out, start like to chop. <laughs> They're like, holy mother of god, this is the best thing I've ever seen. Let, let's be real though. Open bodybuilders do the same exact shit. They just look too big for you to make fun of them. Yeah. But they, they literally walk out and they do the most corny like. <laughs> yeah. Imagine your fans are over the Bro was bouncy with it. <laughs> 
They're like, um, they're just so like, big that you're like, damn, this tricep is big. But then when you get up there in board shorts and you're too small, people are like, you start that's like, corny as shit. once like the wow factor of like how they're not like absurdly large yeah. and they're like, okay, this guy's like relatively big. And then you actually start noticing like what they're like, actually doing. Bacon up there. <laughs> What's he bacon? What's he cooking? You ever had that cum roll? Cum three. <laughs> cum three. This is this is the third and final patch of cum. It's my first time having cum. <sighs> All right, cum wasn't serving, so now we got Yang Ming. There was no cum left. <laughs> they ran out of cum. <laughs> no. <laughs> Will he get it through the ice? Yeah, the, the ice is like the last barrier. Uh, yeah. no. No. no, 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 no. You can't do a third attempt. Swish it up the oh, side. Oh, no, it. I don't know. Nah, yeah. man, it's gonna be mush now. Nah, I can do the third, I can do the third. You got I can the third? Do it. I can do the third. <laughs> oh, it is mushed, bruh. No. <laughs> All right, you know what, we're doing the, we're doing the, hey, the fish method. You, you're gonna fish it? Oh, use the chopsticks, bro. Yeah. yeah. I'm a master chopsticker. It better be the best cherry I've ever had. Gotta eat the stem too. What? <laughs> They're yeah, not but, actually good, but I just I just like the taste yeah. of how I fish it out from the bottom. Yeah, but like I've had it before, but like maybe a little bit of cum. They put they put cum cum three like Loki in here. They're like, you know what? Let me let me bless you out with a little bit of something. Hey man, what you know about the secret hole? It's got a little piss hole on it. Ain't Wait, nobody, why is that? Ain't nobody know about the secret. Oh no, that's for that's for the air ventilation. You got out the wrong side, man. I mean, I, I feel like it's for like a slower pour. If you just want to be like precise. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look at all the sushi. Yeah, you were like you were like prepare for some subpar sushi, but nah. No, for to... some reason, it tastes really good. I think I think they think they were food reviewers because this shit was presented like each each roll is like a little tower. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. They, yeah, they definitely think we were food reviewers. Yeah. They're like, well, well, yeah, we'll let you come after hours to fucking try our adequate, amazing sushi. They just give us the best fish in the freaking thing. Like, they give us, like, tomorrow's fish. <laughs> it's just falling your soy sauce. Like, three times. Yeah, I hate when that happens. And it gets soaked in sodium. And then you're like, mm. and then you're like, mm. All right, this is my first time trying eel on sushi. I, never, I ain't never had it. He said, I've never had eel on sushi. And I said, do you like it? <laughs> and you go, do you like it? I was like, no, I don't know. I've never had it. <laughs> Let's see, I, I never had this. Eels freak me out, but let's do it. You know, first time for everything. 